Hello everybody. It's time to check in on my Worm Factory 360. The bin has been in service for, this is now day 65. It's been nine days since the last feeding. And earlier I was aerating up all of the, the bedding and if you can't really see it on the camera, but this is where I fed it and it's a lot lower than this side. And we just looked and there's a cocoon right here on the surface. So I know just by digging through here that a lot of worms have hatched and the, the, uh, the bin is doing really well. So without further ado, let's get on with the feeding for today. We fed over here last time. Time before that we fed over here. Now we're going to go back to the middle. So I'll just try and there's a lot of, oh another cocoon in here, wow. Just dropped it. I think the moisture level, oh look at that, more cocoons right down there. This is just incredible. Um, what I was saying is I think the moisture level is a little bit low, so I've got some pre-soaked bedding here. I'll put that all on the bottom. Give it a generous amount. And since they really love banana peels, we'll give them a banana peel here. Some celery. Even some lime and orange peels. There's basically a big smorgasbord. Oh, even tea bags, another banana peel. This is quite a large feeding because the last time they went through everything in nine days. So I want to try and see how much they'll eat. With the increased population, obviously they're eating more and more and more. So we'll top this off with some spent coffee and eggshells. Now if this doesn't last 10 days, then they are eating way more than I even know. So we'll cover this back up here. Being careful with all the juveniles. <clears throat> okay, I might uh, put a little bit extra water on here, but I won't bother filming that. And I think that should be good for today. Everyone, thank you for watching. If you like the video, give me a like. If you like my channel, you can refer me to somebody else. And until the next time, everyone, enjoy your worm bins. And that's it for now.